Last fall, sexual abuse occurred in a kindergarten classroom at this school in Marion. And late last month, a judge found 15-year-old Logan McMurrin guilty of committing that abuse against three students. It happened when he was a classroom volunteer at Starry Elementary. Now parents are suing the Marion School District, and the district, in turn, is suing McMurrin. Despite all those legal proceedings since our story first aired, the school board is still refusing to answer questions about what happened. That's why KCRG TV 9's chief investigative reporter Josh Scheinblum attended Monday's school board meeting to try and get the answers so many parents are looking for. Do have anybody present who would like to address the board? My name is Josh Scheinblum. I'm a reporter at KCRG TV 9 News. At Monday's Marion School Board meeting, we went looking for answers to the questions school board members and superintendent have refused to answer for months, even to parents. In regards to sexual abuse at Starry Elementary School, we now have a conviction. It's been six months since police concluded their investigation. Do you guys think the school district has done a good job? Anyone? I would refer to what I previously read. In accordance with the law and the district's policies, the board may not engage in debate. I'm not interested in debating topics. you. I would like answers to the questions. I will speak for the board on this. On advice by attorneys, we will not respond. You were put into that chair that you sit in by the citizens of Marion. In fact, many of them whose children we now know officially were molested by a volunteer under your program. You are not beholden to the attorney. In fact, your own policy states that it's your job to govern the district. So I'm going to ask you again, all of you, do you think you've done a good job so far on this situation? And I will speak for the board. We decline. Board member David Long was the only member or district official to speak during our seven minute line of questioning. I feel that you are out of order for this point of the agenda. Whether the topic was about why letters have still not been sent home to parents about the sex abuse that happened. We decline to answer. Or if anyone has been asked to resign amidst the scandal. We decline to answer. The answers he gave were always the same. What do you say to the parents, to the kids, who are going to watch this on television? And they are going to see a room of adults either sitting in silence or saying, we decline to answer, we decline to answer. We decline to answer. A decision that means parents are still waiting for answers. In Marion, Josh Scheinblum, KCRG, TV9 News. Head to KCRG.com to see the raw video of the entire exchange at the school board meeting.